Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Channel Claire. I hope that you're doing well wherever you are in this crazy, crazy world. Now, the morning started off with more details on this ongoing scenario with Diddy since he has been arrested last night and he is in federal custody. It's a wrap. They've got him in a tight situation. And I think finally, this is going to be what gets him. So we have uh, this little blurb here, just the pop base post that let us all know that law enforcement confiscated narcotics and more than a thousand bottles of baby oil and lubricant from Diddy's home in LA and in Miami. These bottles of lubricant were used for the FOs, okay, the freak offs, where they had multiple group engagements and or sessions in which they were using this lube and i'm just sitting here like well god damn how many people were there are we talking like 20 plus because why are you needing a thousand plus bottles of lube that that is insane to me and why are y'all that dry that you need that much lube that should tell you something in the grand scheme of things maybe you're just not that into it if you're that dry and need a thousand plus bottles of lube. I'm just gonna leave it there. But it is among everything else we have been hearing, just another odd case that Diddy is into all this lube. So we also know that they um, grabbed multiple different firearms and ammo. They also got in their hands pictures and audio evidence of these FOs, these freak offs in which they have pictures of these victims in being in these scenarios that they have described. So uh, this is a wrap on Diddy. This, this is a huge wrap on him. And the fact that the lawyer is trying to come out here saying that this man is innocent, that he's not a criminal. And it's just like, dude, we saw with our own eyes what he did to Cassie and dragging her down that hallway and kicking her while she was down. That is criminal AF. Um, I was also kind of wondering what was going to happen with his bail scenario. So we're going to get to that. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, nobody is feeling sorry for Diddy. When I think about this, I really do sit and I'm thinking about this man who was larger than life, this billionaire, this game changer of the industry. He has lived the highest of high lifestyles just in luxury. And now he has put himself in a situation where he is behind bars in a, in a cell having to sit and think about what he's done for years on end. And now he's finally getting caught up. And I don't feel bad for him. I don't think a lot of people feel bad for him. He does not deserve our sympathies. Who deserves our sympathies are Cassie, who is brave enough to let everybody know what the heck was going on, and the other victims in which he has affected, and his kids, especially those little girls who did not ask to be born and be put into all of this mess dealing with Diddy. And I hope down the line, since a lot is coming out, maybe we will know what took place with their mother and, you know, what really happened to Ken Porter. I just feel like this is going to reveal a lot. Diddy is now collapsing the house of cards. He was at the top. And I think that he's going to be taking a lot of people down with him. Hence why they searched that hotel room, because they probably felt like he had some type of blackmail evidence on him because there were a lot of people who allowed all of this ish to happen that Diddy was doing. Yes, he was the one doing it. The fault is on him. He was making the directions and giving the orders, but there was people who were taking these orders who saw what was happening. Because remember, Don Richards, just in her uh, lawsuit for a couple of days ago, she told a story about how Cassie was uh, harmed by Diddy in the presence of Usher, Neo, and one other person that I can't remember. And they haven't said anything. Nothing. So it kind of feels like guilty by association or you were just complacent, like either way, it just looks bad on you. And I know that a lot of people's heart dropped when they got the message that D uh, Diddy was in federal custody last night because they know what they were also doing with this man and how involved they were and what parties they were at and what they saw with their eyes and what other people and victims can say, oh, yeah, this person was here and saw what was going on while Diddy was doing X, Y, and Z to me. 
this is going to affect the R&B hip hop rap industry in such a big way. And a lot of names are going to start popping out, namely, which I think Jay-Z is coming next because Diddy was so intertwined into this industry and he's not going down by himself. I just, he just does not have that personality to sit in jail by himself while all these people were around letting what he did happen. He's going to take people down with him. He just has that personality. I just have a feeling that this is not good for a lot of people. So, um, oh man. So yeah, he's been charged with three counts of rocketeering, which is basically just fraudulent business dealings, not doing things correctly or in the up and up, doing shit under the table, okay? S trafficking of children by force, fraud or um, coercion in transportation to engage in the selling of your body. He is done. It's done. It's effing done. Everything that Cassie said, and I hope that the people who are sitting back saying, oh, this is just a money grab. Cassie just wanted to take the money. That's all this is about. I hope that she gets an apology because clearly this was not a money grab. All these people were saying very similar situations and stories when it comes to Diddy. Okay, now we know we saw the video of him, what he did to Cassie with our own eyes. And now we know that there's evidence of these FOs, videos audio, pictures, what have you. So this is not a money grab. This actually happened to her. And I don't know if some people can't wrap their minds around how heinous it is. So they'd rather just say that it's a money grab, but no, <laughs> no, this is actuality. And I'm so, I'm just proud of Cassie. And I hope that she's doing okay with everything that is happening. Um, Right now, I'm sure she was given a heads up that Diddy was going to get arrested and that all of this was going to be hitting the media and that it was going to be everywhere so that she could do what she needed to do to prepare or maybe seclude herself and just try to have some peace while all this is happening, um, because ultimately it's what she's wanted, I'm sure, to have justice serve for her and the other victims. But I'm, I could believe it could be so overwhelming and triggering that your A B U S E R is finally being charged, and his face is everywhere. That's that's a lot. Um, so we also have here with his attorney talking. One of the things I'm going to go to. So I'm going to run you guys. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Right, you All right. Is he in court already? I, I don't know. That's one of the things I'm going to go to. So I'm going to run you guys. Okay. So that's his lawyer saying he didn't know if he was in court or in the jail. So he's trying to figure it out too. But apparently his attorney is saying that uh, they've been expecting this day since March. And Diddy's confident that uh, they'll fight like hell. So that I guess Diddy has some type of vindication and is seem deemed innocent. I don't see how we've seen that video. That in itself is illegal activity. Like, are they forgetting that little tidbit that the world has seen him in action running down a hallway in a bathroom, beating and dragging and kicking this woman who was down and defenseless? Yo, they've lost their effing minds. They've lost it. So that's the lawyer. Um, why he would even get, take this case, I, I, I don't know. Um, but apparently, uh, yeah, so they're even saying kidnapping. Oh, my gosh, Diddy, for real. Bribery and arson, obstruction of justice. Who are you bribing? Hopefully not no law enforcement, which would kind of make sense as to why he's been able to get away with this so long. Maybe he had some law enforcement people under his belt who he was bribing and obstructing justice with. Like, nothing would surprise me with this man. Um, we see here his kids, the sons at least, are in support of their father, it seems, allegedly, because they are showing up at the court. That is them walking inside. Justin, Christian, and Quincy. Um... They didn't say a word before walking into the courthouse. They really shouldn't say a word. Do you hear that woman? Oh, my God. Like, this is not the time to be fanning out right now. But I just hope that the daughters are somewhere away and secluded away from this mess. I, 
and they're at that age where they know what's happening. They know what's going on. Like they have to, and to know your father is being accused of doing these horrific things to all these people and women. And potentially if it comes out that he harmed their mother as well. Oh my gosh. Um, there's a 14 page indictment against Diddy for the accounts of rocketeering as trafficking forced and fraudulent behavior and transportation to engage in um, people selling their bodies. Wow, Diddy, what the, what are you doing? Now, this is somebody else who I was thinking about with everything um, going on. I was thinking about Diddy's mother. I was thinking about his kids. And I was also thinking about a lot of the people who have been outspoken about Diddy's behaviors and ways and a big person who has been speaking out for years about Diddy, about how he handled their group and just how he ran them to the ground, didn't pay them correctly, just had them in all types of effed deals, um, making it feel like they had to give up their bodies to get certain opportunities, just nasty, just a nasty man. She's been very outspoken about it. And finally, she's being able to get some vindication. So it says here, Aubrey O'Day tells TMZ, I never thought I would see this day. We all buried this inside of us in order to be able to keep going. And not just me, but victims you don't even know yet. Keyword yet. So I'm sure a lot of people, um, you know, it's, and it's so sad. Like what we know and the information we have right now is horrible from what we've heard. But the, what we don't know. It's just like, could you imagine how deep this goes? Um, we are all processing what that type of vindication can actually feel like now. Um, every conversation I've had with victims last night has been beyond moving on all levels. Wow. That's deep. To finally see this man who has been, you know, living their life without any repercussions been living a good life too. The man's a billionaire. You've had to watch this man who's done horrible things to you succeed time and time again, get the keys to New York City and, you know, all of the positive recognition he's gotten, knowing what type of a man he actually is. And it's not good at all. It's actually the exact opposite. So I, I'm just happy that they're seeing some type of vindication, but I could also imagine like with Cassie, it being very triggering and overwhelming that this man's face is everywhere. It's all in the news. That's a lot. That's a lot. Um, and th they didn't think this day was going to happen because it's taken so long. It's taken so long, but at least it's here now. Um, what else? So yeah, that's the video. If you haven't seen it, that's just, it's very triggering. So I'm not going to play it. This is media that was outside waiting for Diddy's appearance. Um, I wonder if we're going to get a mugshot of Diddy. Uh, someone thought they were being cute by making a tweet saying, Kamala sure attended a lot of Diddy's parties back in the day while neglecting the fact that uh, your man Trump has been at these parties as well. And I'm just saying there's a lot of people who attended these parties, but who else to know if they were at these parties after a certain hour of the evening? I don't believe all the F shit, the FOs and, you know, the craziness was happening the entire time. I think once it got to a certain time, maybe after three, four in the morning is when things got real wild and crazy. They was probably doing drugs and everything else. But with the, the stories that we've been hearing, the bad, bad stuff probably happened after a lot of these people left. Um, but there are a lot of people who did not leave. So therein lies the issue. And I think that those names are going to start coming out. I, I definitely do. But Trump was there. Kamala was there. People were at these parties. Um, this was the other interesting thing I wanted to know about was the bail scenario. Because I don't understand how with this video out that we have seen of Diddy doing criminal acts to Cassie, in which he's gotten away with for years, how they're going to be able to give this man bail when he's already gotten away with ish for years. He deserves to sit in jail and do the time. 
So what his de defense is proposing in the bail package is a $50 million bond, which I believe they only have to pay, what, like 10% of that or something like that. Um, apparently, it's going to be co-signed by Sean Combs, his mother, his sister, and the mother of his oldest daughter. Like, they've gotten put all this in order. Uh, secured by the equity in Mr. Combs' residence located at 2 West Star Island in Miami, Florida. The appraised value of the home is $48 million. So, obviously, that will cover his bail plus a couple mil extra. Plus, he has another home. So, he still got some money in the bank and some, some stuff to work with. Um, I hope he has money set away for his kids so that they don't have to worry about shit that's not being touched. Uh, the home is unencumbered in anticipation of this bail hearing. So they very well knew all this stuff was happening. They knew this was coming down the pipeline, hence him being in New York, making himself available. I don't know what happened to the point where he was supposed to be arrested today and they moved it up due to some type of issue. Maybe he got scared and was like going to flee or something once he realized what was actually about to happen. So they had to move it up i don't know but um he him and his team and as his lawyer said since march they anticipated this happening they knew what he was going to find they knew what they were going to find and um <laughs> they found it boy did they find it and they took months to catalog that shit put it in order oh my goodness um, the home is unencumbered in, in anticipation of this bail hearing on August 20th, 2024. Mr. Combs paid off the remaining mortgage of about $18 million. So there was nothing, there's nothing still owed on it. So all this $48 million can go solely to his bail. Um, wow. Secured by the equity of Mr. Combs' mother's home located at 450 Alton Road. Uh, they're also saying that Mr. Combs, if he's given bail, will travel. his travel will be restricted to the Southern District of Florida and Southern District of New York. So some type of maybe house arrest scenario. But no, I don't even think he deserves that. Because A, your dang on arrest had to be pushed up for one reason or another. And we're not too sure on if it was because you was trying to flee. But you don't deserve to be out of jail. You've been out of jail for decades, knowingly doing F shit, like sit in jail. Um, and so also they're saying that he'll surrender his passport um, as well as other family members have already surrendered their passports. So I guess he's not like a flight risk to go and flee to Bali and sit up with his friend, uh, Russell Simmons, who's also in hiding from his fuck shit. This is just crazy y'all this is not good it's good that it's happening because it, it you know it's been a long time coming and for everything that Diddy has done he deserves it but it's not good for him and it's not good for his kids I can't imagine being like his daughters especially because I'm not quite too sure on if his sons were involved some of the documentation I saw their names pop up and being involved in some ways allegedly but his daughters, they don't deserve this. They, they just, this is crazy. And for what, Diddy? Ego? You got bored? Like, what the fuck? Like, thousands of bottles of lube to prepare for these FOs? Why do you need that much lube? Like, I, I'm really trying to wrap my head around why one would need thousands of bottles of lube, even if you are having multiple you know what? I can't even let my mind go there. Um, so yeah, I'm ready to see a Diddy mugshot. We did not see him being arrested or taken into the jail. There's not been any video of that. Um, like I said, no mugshot. So maybe they've worked some type of deal where they were able to arrest him and keep it. He can still have a little bit of dignity by them not making him do, what do they call it, the perp walk, and being taken out in handcuffs and his mugshot splattered everywhere on CNN and such and such. Um, that's a good deal he got there. And it's it's a shame because if it was a regular person being charged with what Diddy's charged with, that there would be no type of talk about bail but because of his name, his status, and his money. It's a possibility that he may be able to meet bail. But I don't. I, I just don't think that that's right because a normal person would not be given that same. Um, they wouldn't be given that same opportunity to sit up in their home in the comfort of their home while they await 
this trial for horrific things like kidnapping and forced selling of people's bodies against their will. Like, what? What? So um, before I get off here, also there was a, um, I believe it was the attorney general did a press conference kind of speaking about Diddy and what they found. Let me see if I can pull that. Let's see. Am I located in contacting a victim who had attempted to flee? In order to hide their injuries, or by locating and contacting a victim who had attempted to flee. As part of this investigation, in March of this year, special agents from HSI executed search warrants at Combs' residences in Miami and Los Angeles. They also executed mm -hmm. a warrant for Combs' electronic devices. Damn. During those searches, agents seized evidence of the crimes charged in this indictment. Mm. They These got your firearms ass, they? and ammunition, including three defaced AR 15s and a large capacity. So, defaced, I believe that means like when they scratch off the serial number so it can't be tracked. I believe that's what that is. A drum magazine. They also need seized evidence of the free costs. AR 15s and shit for. that contain images and video. Intimidation? Who had attempted to flee? Hotel rooms for the free costs. More than 1,000 bottles altogether. Hold up. In cases of the kinds of personal lubricant and baby oil that Holmes' staff allegedly used to stock hotel rooms. That is insane. Dust, cases of lube. More than 1,000 bottles altogether. More than 1,000 bottles. Here are some of the items that we recovered during the searches. As you can see here, this is a drum magazine, large capacity. It contains, I believe, 59 rounds. 59 Dimensions rounds? You recovered three AR-15s. Three AR-15s. This is a close-up shot of one of the ar -15s. What do you need an AR-15? Like, it only could be moment. intimidation. What do you need an AR? three AR-15s for? So your guards can be up there holding these guns to intimidate people from talking or leaving? Come on, man. Rocketeering has been thoroughly defaced. Another picture of more ammunition and parts of two AR-15s right there. Now, I want to be clear about two things. What happened? First, this office is determined to investigate and prosecute anyone who engages in sex trafficking, no matter yep. how powerful so it's or a wealthy wrap. or famous you may be. I think it's a wrap when no they, you heard that they are determined, meaning that is why they took months since March to put everything in order. And now behind the scenes, apparently Diddy and his team was preparing too. hence this bail proposal. But they're serious. I don't think now that they got his ass, they're going to let him go because uh, it took a long time to get him. Why would you let him go? To doubt our commitment on that. A year ago. Sean Cohn stood in Times Square and was handed a key to New York City. He sure was. They took Today, that shit. He's been indicted and will face justice in the Southern District of New York. Wow. He was given the keys to the city just last year, and now he is sitting in that same city's federal prison for some of the worst charges. Okay? Um, it's just... This is bad. This is this is horrible. So and uh, I wanted to get the initial information about all of this, but I don't know how much I'm going to, you know, speak about it on my channel. I'm going to follow up on it behind the scenes, but it's triggering. It's triggering for a lot of people. Uh, the information and stories that have taken place to these people and victims that are finally hopefully going to get justice and um Rocketeering, fraud, forced selling of body, obstruction of justice, arson, kidnapping, rocketeer, every, every goddamn thing under the book, man. You was doing every fucking thing 
that you can imagine. He had to be bored. There's no excuse for it. There's no excuse. Um, so I'm going to leave you guys with that. Uh, Diddy is having a horrible, this is going to be a rough week. And I'm just wondering, what do you do with such a high profile person? You have to put them in protective custody. He has to be alone, which kind of in a sense is more luxurious than being with the general public who can't get you. Um, but he's now up there with the Jeffrey Epstein's, the Harvey Weinstein's, the Bill Cosby's, uh, you know, all of those guys. R. Kelly, all of them have seen the jail cell. And now we can add Diddy to the list. And it took a minute. That's why even with all of those guys, it took years and years and years. But finally, something happens and it, it's a wrap. It's karma. It, and it just shows you can only go for so long doing dirty to people and doing wrong before you have to pay, you know, suffer the consequences. And um, if you just do right by people and you're a good person, you don't have to worry about all of this. And all the stuff that Diddy did, it didn't have to be done. He chose to do these horrific things to people because he got an ego and thought he was God and just didn't give a fuck. Um, so this is what this is what he deserves. He spent years living a lavish lifestyle. Now he's potentially going to uh, have years seeing the other side of things. And uh, the only people who I feel sorry for are his daughters, Cassie and all the other victims. But this is wild. So I will catch you guys in another video. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day, wherever you may be in this crazy, crazy world.